Hey guys, enter the stars, and I'm going to preface this video with a warning. Sometimes when things are discovered that have occult meaning that can affect your very perception of your country and your reality, it can cause people to lash out and become very angry. And therefore, I've had to turn off a lot of the uh, comments and the thumbs down. It's not because I don't want to hear your opinion, but what happens is we get basically demonic activity that comes upon this channel uh, for people that just can't handle the truth. They just can't, they don't get it. They can't understand why a person like me, a nobody, can find these things. And it troubles them that they've been living their whole lives in a lie. Now, I've done some research on the internet, and no one to this point has discovered this. And if they have, please come forward. Truth is free. It's self-evident. It, if someone has found things before, you know, it's, it's not a thing about credit or whatever. It's free, okay? So whoever wants to use this information that I'm presenting you got to you guys today, feel free to use this information because the more people that know the truth, the better. Now, we'll get into this video, and this is just simply unbelievable. This is the Washington Monument, of course. Now, I'm going to show you something here that's going to blow your mind. That is the $1 bill that I've superimposed over the Washington Monument. But here's what's fascinating. It's perfectly centered on the monument. Now I'm going to back this dollar bill out, and I want you to look at the entire dollar bill against the backdrop of Washington, D.C. And you can see how it fits exactly also over what they are calling the ellipse. Let's turn it on. Turn it off. Now, here's the amazing thing. When you zoom in to the other one, which on this dollar bill, there are only two ones that are different. The one in this corner and the one in this corner. The bottom two ones are pretty much the same. They're smaller, a few, few anomalies, but not really. When you zoom into this other one, now remember, this dollar bill has not been adjusted for, for any kind of ratio alignment. It's only, it's the exact ratios of the dollar bill that I just copied online. This one is at the front door of the National Treasury building. The Department of Treasury. Now let's spin this back out and take another look at this thing. So we've got secret alignments here going on with our dollar bill right in Washington, D.C. As far as I know, none of us have been told about this. We live in a free country where there's supposed to be transparency, no pun intended, and yet these things are hidden in plain sight. Now this is the White House here. It gets spookier. Now, you could surmise that, you know, maybe one of these ovals dropped off here and fell in this location which is the World War II Memorial okay I've seen this with the owl imagery in Washington DC they, it's almost like they shake off the elements of what they're showing us they never show us exactly but like this with this ratio could be spun around and it fits exactly in here with the size that this dollar bill is and let's look around and see if there's any other ovals around here that could account for this last one remember we've accounted for all the other three but this is what I want you to focus on now so I saw this alignment okay now this alignment here these ones lining up point back to the Capitol building okay here's the Capitol ref reflecting pool this alignment as we've pointed out on previous videos from the Washington Monument to the Capitol building is 88 degrees Okay, 88 is not in our heads, you guys. It is real. And we are fortunate enough to be the ones to discover this hidden truth. And I think I just found the other oval for the dollar bill, which is, it looks like right here, which is the Thomas Jefferson Memorial, which is also shaped like an oval. So there's our other oval, not far from the dollar bill. So we've got one here, and we got one here. There you go. 
Now, when we line this up, I was looking at this element right here on the dollar bill, and I'm like, this is a peculiar framing of the number one here. So I follow the yellow brick road, right? I'm going. Here's some more ovals. Gosh, they love their Vesica Pisces, don't they? And I go, wow, that kind of looks like the area surrounding the Capitol building. So I put another dollar bill on top of that one. And this is what I found. A perfect overlay. I want you to look at this point. This point. I want you to look at the roads branching off as I click this on and off. And you will see that what we are looking at is another alignment. Now, some people might say, well, who cares? Who cares that the, the dollar bill is reflected on, on Washington, D.C.? It makes sense. This is America, right? No, it doesn't make sense. Because I got news for you. If you want to live in the country with a bunch of secrets in it, like it were in some big national treasure movie, that's up to you. Here's another alignment that I thought was fascinating. We get the, the ones aligned up a little better. And we look here and we get the actual top of this emblem pointing right into the front of the Capitol building. Watch this. Right on that little whatever that ball thing is. But look at the alignment here. This is simply unbelievable. Now, the interesting thing about this alignment is that when you zoom this out, Washington, President Washington is perfectly framed within this, this, uh, these two streets here, pointing directly to him. But that was pretty amazing. Look at this. And it's called Mount Vernon Squares behind here. Okay? <laughs> wow. And there he is. There's Washington. Now, you can look at this alignment yourself just by going into Google Earth and doing an overlay with the image of a dollar bill. I haven't done anything weird or funny here. This is just straight putting, putting the image in, adjusting the size to align it with things, but keeping it in perspective. So you ask yourself, why? Why would they go through the trouble? Why would they do all this? How were they able to achieve the level of sophistication necessary to embed all of these things in plain sight, coordinate them, synchronize them? And the answer becomes self-evident, as many other truths do. The Bible tells us why, you guys. Because Satan wants to be like the Most High. The Bible tells us he wants to be like God. And through a process of self-evident discovery and true love for our Creator, searching and seeking Him out, He draws us towards Him and slowly reveals and develops a relationship with us. And He reveals His truth. And that is what I would prefer in any relationship rather than rather than knowing everything before we're mature enough to handle it because I can tell you there were times in my life where I just didn't care but as we mature in the word we learn about God we learn about his majesty we learn about his truth and Satan wants to be like God so he hides all these things but all it does is reveal how he wants to be like God. And he is doing exactly what the Bible said he would be doing. So anyways, you guys, I wanted to share this with you. There are probably other, other overlays that we haven't found yet. Um, you know, there's no way I could do this all by myself. You know, every day I wake up, I dedicate my life to uncovering more evil in this world. And I wanted to share with you what I found with Washington, D.C. and the dollar bill. Take care and be safe, you guys.